So, one episode left for my favorite show of all time, episode 19. But before I get to that, I'm gonna talk about 16, 17, 18 briefly because one, I didn't have time, two, I was talking about Nolan films, and three, I got pretty lazy. Like, 60% of me got pretty lazy because I was talking about Nolan so much throughout the last two weeks of November. But episode 16 was another fill episode. Sam and Dean, seeing young Sam and Dean was cool. That was all fine. Apparently, they meet this other great little girl that we've never seen before on the show because that's great writing. But yeah, they solved the case. They killed this monster thing. Billy even comes out and say, uh, kill God. Jack needs to be new kill him or else i will whatever she goes away she claimed nothing too special 17 is where we actually see amara back again she's trying to give it to god in this episode like in episode 17 be on her side be on humanity's side he's like nope he's like snaps people away why not he like consumes her because he you know she doesn't know that both sam and Dewan are gone because of the balance thing which is good at the cap he consumes her with a half demon half like angel look that was a cool shot and then jack presumably dies again and then we also learn that billy also has a plan to just take over and redo everything reset everything again both parties want power i mean that was i'm assuming that was gonna happen either way so there's that it's actually a surprisingly good episode as well so sh shocker episode 18 is where the one that cast dies i guess spoilers i guess he does stay dead in the empty of that deal that they made in season 14 which i forgot about but all that matters is that billy again power hungry she actually dies because he stabs her with the psych she like her right arm or something's like peeling off and rotting away chuck is nowhere to be found jack dies again comes back billy brings him back sam has a plan to like bring everyone back together because supposedly they think that death is billy's poofing off other work proof one by one charlie with donna everyone turns out it's god dean and Cass face death and she's like powering so you know before she dies she does say that she wants to kill dean so there's that so here's the thing i've never bought into the whole destiny l thing that was always been a whole fan thing the whole fandom thing their sort of relationship both Cass and dean I always saw as awkward friends or like brotherly love so when he said uh, the i love you line i thought of that as a brother and as an awkward friend i'm not gonna get into the whole destiny l thing that's just a fandom thing don't care about that but i always just saw as awkward friends having this brotherly love not that's the lbs the empty takes him and billy and then that's the episode ends and he surprisingly does stay dead or stay in the empty because episode 19 finally where this is like i guess avengers like endgame everyone's poofed away whatever you just got jack sam and dean and michael comes back i was like when the hell is michael coming back in this season well he's back and he says to help them he hasn't used his powers he doesn't want you know his father find him so they decided to bring the book to him it doesn't work and then i guess who just shows up lucifer apparently god has brought back lucifer to do his dirty deeds and first of all when i saw him, i was like oh no what the hell is this bullshit really really no this character has been brought back he showed up in season seven as a conscience of sam's head season 11 and then season i guess i guess three or four times he's come back i was like oh no they just kill him either because andrew deb writing or some shit i don't know whatever they kill us for again sam whips up a spell but turns out that spell is a plan to another spell or not another spell to another plan to trick michael into helping their father god just kills michael and then i think for like a minute or something chuck beats up both sam and dean just wailing him all blood and whatnot and then he tries to snap Jack because the brothers are laughing. They're like laughing at God saying that he lost. He decides to look at Jack. Can't snap him because throughout the whole episode, I was wondering this as well. He was acting strange. He was like inheriting power or something like that. Turns out he's, he's been like basically like a vacuum consuming all the earth. Because there's a scene where he walks by and all the plants die. Like what the hell is that? Is he just because he's like sad that Cass died or something? But nope. He has been draining and he's basically like a big vacuum consuming sort of energy. And then when Kill looks over, he like consumes that as well. You know, God fighting, pulling out his energy on Sam and Dean. He's consumes God's powers and then he fully consumed all of God's powers into him leave got to be kind of i guess old again and powerless and he is he even crushed for help at one, at one point please i guess that's his fault for putting himself in the story because you never do that and then they go back to a little town jack has become the new god new god jack but let's call him jack but he's basically god brings everyone back not our main character just people in general the population back and he you know says a farewell goodbye to both sam and dean he's gonna go away he's gonna be everywhere he knows where everyone will be at because he's a new god which was a fan theory which makes sense he's the most powerful being aside from the darkness and god the brothers they sitting in the bugger scene that they're finally free with the uh, sam winchester the whole winchester and carving with Cass and jack and then there's a montage it's a nice montage sort of a 15 years 15 seasons and i'm not gonna lie I, so i didn't cry but my eyes they get teary but like oh, wow i've been watching the show for a huge chunk of my life and it's finally coming to an end like, it's actually ending shit well technically this is not the last episode but this is the last episode of this season and apparently the next episode is a two-hour special the whole cast is talking about the show the end scene is obviously the impala driving off into the sunset
uh, not sunset, but driving off. I like that. So in terms of an ending, this is the polar opposite of Kripke's original ending of season five, where it was kind of dark and tragic, right? Kind of sad that one brother had to, one of the brothers had to make the ultimate sacrifice against the rest of the world. That was Eric Kripke's ending. This ending was happy and joyful and sort of driving it off the sunset, which I guess is good, right? This isn't, this is, I guess this is technically the end. I'm gonna see this as the first ending that episode 20 is like the last ending, I guess, but this is kind of the end, right? Kind of, even though it's episode 19 and no, I thought it was good. I'm not angry. I'm not disappointed. It's not mediocre. There's some stupid stuff that still happens like Lucifer and the new death. He kills a Reaper. Reaper becomes a new death because that's how a Reaper becomes a death. And then that Reaper just dies as well. Like that was dumb. But how it got there probably wasn't the best, but the way it ended, the way it landed, it was safe and it was good. I, w I didn't leave disappointed or being like, oh really? That was dumb. In terms of ending, th I get this is the best way that, that they could have done it with every retcon that they did in the past seasons. This is the best way they could have ended it. So, you know what? I, no complaints from here. So, so this episode was, you know, just good. A lot of stupid, again, stupid stuff happened. But again, in terms of ending, landed well. Oh, not well, but it landed safely and well. And I like the song at the end. So, to our special for next week, I'm assuming just from promos, it's the whole cast talking about the show and just all that stuff. So, episode 19 is the end of season 15 and 20 is the end of the show. So, yeah, again, I didn't, I guess, season ending, the last season finale didn't leave me angry, disappointed, or sad or anything. It left me, okay, best way they could have ended it. So, it is what it is. Gonna be interesting to see what's gonna happen next week. I already saw a bunch of like promos of Crowley and Claire and all that stuff. But yeah, thank you for watching.